Hi guys, James here from Sunseeker Southampton, down at the head of the Southampton HQ in Swanwick Marina. And today we're going to look around at Parts Exchange has just come in. Beneteau GT46 uh, 2019 boat just behind me. Spin the camera around here. See she's just arrived. Uh, fresh in from the Channel Islands, supplied by the original dealer to Guernsey. First owner from April 2019 to April 2020. Changing hands very quickly to a second owner who had her just for a couple of weeks before we've just taken her in part exchange against the new Sunseeker. So we've had the boat surveyed and we'll just conduct any minor tweaks to her prior to hand over to the next owner. Uh, she's due a service and anti foul so this will be carried out as part of our sale completion package. Great entry level onto the water if you're coming up from a smaller cruiser. It's a two cabin layout, two heads. You see a hard top and a full converting patio door system in the cockpit to give you real usable space on board both for weather here in the UK and down in the Mediterranean. We've got an optional hydraulic high-low bathing platform on the stern here which will lift 350 kilos and an option also in these sockets here pop up dinghy chocks so whether that's to take a small jet ski or rib it's one finger launch on the hydraulic mechanism very straightforward for launch and recovery and then the door package will open up in a sec but these are patio doors that slide back to reveal a big open cockpit as well as a, a tent package which comes off the back of the arch here down behind the back seat to give you a usable cockpit 365 days a year let's head on board take a look around so the glass mirrored tinted doors here stack back one either side very easy to do and then we've got these base cushions here that slide outboard so we stand back now you can see how open the cockpit is uh, these have got seat seating obviously with storage underneath so lift up the base cushions we've got handy lockers we lift up the back rest cushions here Underneath you can see big storage lockers, both sides of the cockpit. Uh, storage under this one as well, you can see a small locker in there. Option on the port side, it's part of one of the packages Beneteau offer. We've got a good size cockpit fridge with a little cool box in the top. And let's open up the roof, give a feel of how much space there is in here. So we've got a, an electric GRP opening roof, so the aft section's fixed. We've got some LED lights up in the center section there, and then just above my head here, over the helm, we've got this full expanse, single piece GRP opening section. And then we'll just stand back to appreciate how much space and light that now lets into the boat. Totally transforms her. Uh, she's also got the optional drop down electric windows you can see over here on the starboard side and on the port side so we get a nice through flow of ventilation through the cockpit a massive teak top table here so obviously you can sit at that both sides of the the cockpit seating and the forward area and room here for a couple more directors chairs good dining space for eight eight adults uh, we've got a fusion av pack so speakers up in the arch here and a full remote control for the cockpit and downstairs in the accommodation area. And then on the aft end of the cockpit here, so we've got dual access doors, one either side in off the bathing platform, and a sun pad here with a, with a storage locker underneath. So that's a deep storage locker in there. Some clever little features like lift up, lift up bases to give you a little bit more leg support and then this backrest cushion can be slid into various positions to give you an on aft sun pad or a center sun pad with a seat either side it's quite versatile that and um, there's a storage independent storage cover for that sit on top transom pull out shower down there we've got low level blue led deck lights here um, it's a manual bilge pump socket down on the aft port quarter there uh, teak decking through the cockpit here and obviously on the bathing platform, nice little inlaid stainless cut 
cup holders here and then if we come forward back up to the helm we've got seating for three so a sort of a twin co-pilot seat and a single pilot seat lift up bolster cushions here so this will give you a, a standing or seating position depending on what the conditions allow whether you want to look through the screen or over the top we've got a little drop down teak step here to give a bit more height through the roof from the helm and in the seated position if I sit down here at the helm you can see I've got a good panoramic view all the way around the boat and it's a well configured helm everything's nicely to hand so we've got electro hydraulic steering system with a tilt adjust to get that into a comfortable position down here on my starboard side We've got the throttle controls, one finger in and out of gear, Volvo EVC controls. The boat's uh, powered by a pair of Volvo D6 370 stern drive engines with a joystick. So this is steering the drives independently once the throttles are back into neutral. You've got most of the functionality of an IPS system, so twisting the top, the drive steer independently, push it sideways, it engages one ahead, one astern. Again with some steering to give you, say, a lot of the benefits. Um, and also the adjustability, obviously being able to trim the drives up for narrow and you know deep, shallow water running and that sort of thing. And we've got trim tabs, so Volvo blade trim tabs here. We've got a, a Garmin DSC VHF handset on a fist mic. Quick bow thruster control, um, engine ignition panels here, and then little carling switches for things like lights in the cockpit, windscreen wiper systems, and over here, a fresh water pump, control of the electric windows, horn, etc. Uh, full suite of Garmin nav kit, so we've got an upgrade to a 16 inch colour Garmin display here. Um, we've got the fish finder module you'll see running here on the right of the screen and currently in a chart format to the left. Uh, we've got the option of things like uh, engine information on here with gauges to give you um, digital temperatures and pressures and what have you. And if we just fire up the ignitions on the engines just to check how many hours we're on at the moment. So it's just a fob key access to turn the engines on as a mobiliser system and we're reading 36.4 starboard, 36.4 port, so very very low hours to say um, just due a service now which we would take care of as part of the completion. Um, I'll just start it up so you can hear what the engine is like running. So you can hear in tick over now, being stern drive boat, all the engines and noise are at the back of the cockpit. So still um, a very nice ambient noise in here where you could continue a conversation easy enough. We'll just stop those to keep the hours down. Um, also on the plotter we've got AIS um, and we've got a two kilowatt digital um, Garmin radar on there as well. So nothing really to add in the way of nav kit needed. See a little steering compass up here. Got an opening port light up on the starboard side there. You can see a glass skylight here, which also runs through the door here to let a bit of natural light downstairs. Let's head on down and see what the accommodation's all like. So we've got good access stairs here that come in from the port side of the cockpit. And you already you can feel with those skylights above us, it's a bright and airy space. Um, she's finished in the walnut alpi wood, which is, um, you say it's the darker wood option in here, with quite an open grain to it. Nice quality chrome fittings here. We've got things like locks on the cabin doors. So there's a TV in here, looks about 22 inch TV. Um, and then over on the port side here, we've got a galley package. So we start at the back, we've got a good size fridge and freezer compartment. The head unit there for the Fusion stereo. So it's Bluetooth, so you can plug your phone into it. Lots of storage lockers. Handy for provisions underneath the, the galley work surface here. We've got a little bin there. Say more storage. Two burner electric griddle as the boat's got a generator, eight kilowatt own Onan generator down in the engine room. And then we've got a single sink there and a half bowl as well. So handy for washing and draining and what have you. And then up top we've got the optional um, Whirlpool microwave oven. And then Another storage cupboard up there. Um, aircon outlet here, so we've got full reverse cycle aircon throughout the boat in all the lower deck cabins that will work off the generator or the shore power system. Then looking across on the starboard side, there's a large U-shaped dinette here 
uh, fixed leg table. And then you've got storage up in these top level cupboards. Uh, loads of books, have a look through, say as a recent boat, tons of manuals, comprehensive spec, all the information to help you set up the systems. Obviously the boat would be handed over with a full technical handover anyway from us. Um, again, a little bit more storage up that end. LED lighting throughout in here to keep the voltage consumption down. Um, under the seating here, so we've got a, a black waste tank for the toilet, which has got an overboard discharge through the hull and also a deck fitting up on the starboard uh, side deck. And then we've got an aircon compressor underneath the seating here, a little bit of storage under this one. And then if we head forward, so we've got two, um, two cabins laid out with a, a V berth here forward, which is a guest cabin. And these literally lift up and rotate round to allow you to have a, a center line bed here with a bit of space up the side if you want to set up as a double i'll literally drop them back into position and we've got a v berth here for two kids a storage wise here port side a couple of shelves and to the starboard we've got a mixture of shelves and a wardrobe enough for a weekend away a few days down in the west country and what have you uh, opening emergency escape hatch, ventilation etc up top there, LED reading lights, we've got little opening windows on the side and of course metal blinds to close those off at night. Easy access for things like bow thruster down here under the floor, again you could do a little bit of storage in there, occasional bedding. Uh, we've got batteries down here under the floor. The aircon outlet here for the handler for the forward cabin with a control up on the panel there. And then coming aft, this is a, a day head come the second forward cabin's uh, sort of ensuite. So we've got a Jabsco electric flush toilet here, storage cupboard up above, nice little shower area with a, a pull out screen so we're not having to, to dry out the whole compartment in between usage. And then we've got a good size mirror, sink and a small cupboard underneath, a nice finish of an inlaid sort of teak and holly floor here. And then coming aft, we've got a midships master cabin. So we're coming down a couple of step levels here. So you'll notice they've been quite clever with the space to try and give you as much headroom in here as possible. If I stand down on the lowest section here, standing just under six feet tall, it's uh, it's tight on the headboard here, but on all honesty, you've got enough room to stand up and get dressed around the bed. So say it's not quite center line in here, but over on the starboard side of the boat, we've got a very deep storage locker in there. Of course, it's an ensuite master head. So here on the starboard side of the boat, we've got another good sized separate shower stall here. With the teak and holly floor, electric toilet. Again, small storage cupboard underneath. Basin and a big vanity mirror with LED lighting and there's a storage cupboard up above there. Of course, coat hooks on the wall here as well. Big bilge pump down there in the middle. You can see plumbing for the hot and cold water system. Easy access for, for pipe work. And this one I think is the generator. Generator seacock there under the floor with the, uh, with the strainer, so easy for, for servicing that without having to go down in the engine room. Of course, it's an ensuite master head. So here on the starboard side of the boat, we've got another good sized separate shower stall here. With the teak and holly floor, electric toilet, again, Small storage cupboard underneath, basin and a big vanity mirror with LED lighting and there's a storage cupboard up above there, of course coat hooks on the wall here as well. That's pretty much it down here, I say it's a pretty well spec boat, there's not much really to, um, to add replacement value today on one of these screen prices around £475,000 starting price. Um, and we're asking here £375,000 excluding tax as she is. Obviously, full dealer preparation on top and uh, the option for a part exchange as well if needed. Just pop the hatch up here in the aft end of the cockpit sole so you can appreciate how much space is available in the engine room. Say the boat is available with the stern drive configuration like we have here, so engines sit tight up on the bulkhead and then the option also with IPS, so the engines would then sit further forward with a pod drive behind. 
it's a significantly more expensive system and to be honest on a boat of this size the stern drives do it so well that there really isn't a need to do that uh, power pack over there on the starboard side for the um, bathing platform we've got fire suppression automatic suppression system there um, two plastic fuel tanks sitting independently up here one either side of the generator now uh, we're carrying about 900 liters of fuel in total 400 liters of water and you can see that eight kilowatt Onan generator down there in the middle say to run all the onboard systems and then we've got things like chargers um, manual breakers for the battery isolators up on the top there and if you have a look down through here so things like service wise strainer caps are easy to get to dipsticks are handed to the middle so coming to boats first time without loads of uh, knowledge you haven't got to crawl over the engines to get in for basic checks hot water tanks sat over here on the port side and loads of space for storing things like folding bikes, blow up dinghies, paddle boards and all the sort of water toys that the, the modern boat owner takes out to sea with them. So I say it's a nice uh, it's a nice space down there, very very serviceable. And then if we go up on the bow, see we've got these nice easy access side decks, black uh, gel coat finish here up on the roof. And then these are um, bow sunbathing cushions with lift up backrests at the aft end here. And then forward, handy gas strut on the locker top here to keep it open. It's an electric anchor winch with a remote control that comes out there for easy launch and recovery. And we've got plenty of room to stick 